Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm here for another episode and today we are on step 8, the car. Oh boy. This is a fun one. I really like cars, but I'm not a super big car guy. I don't, I don't know how to really build them. But building your own car can save you a lot of money. and that, I didn't put that on here. But uh, I'd like to talk to you about some very, very important things when making a purchase for a car. Um, and I made some big mistakes when I made my first car. It wasn't um, the worst mistake in the planet, but I had really bad credit and um, I, I was having trouble with my finances and I didn't know all the things that I know today. And I, um, you know, I, I got locked in. I got locked in with the lease and um, it, wasn't, it wasn't the worst and it wasn't the most expensive car in the world. But, uh, and I still really, really like the car, but um, I probably put $13,000 into this car and now I've got to pay it off. And I'll actually have it paid off here pretty soon just because I've learned to better manage my money. Um, but it's a brand new car. That being said, um, never, ever, ever pay full price for a car. Um, you can Cali Blue Book a car, see what it's uh, selling at, and what chances are when you go to a dealership, they're going to have like a much higher price than what you know you you saw in Kelly Bo Blue Book. And what I want you to do is, um, if you don't have good credit, try and bring up your credit. Um, and I'll I'll have a course on that here in a little bit. And so maybe if you want to come back to this video at at this point, you can stop it and just watch um, how to get better credit. Um, never, never ever <laughs> go into a dealership looking to to buy a car right off the lot right then and there um, and and the reason being is because they want you to do that they want you to go in they want you to buy the brand new car they're gonna show you all the features they're gonna have you drive around their job is to sell you that car and they're gonna do everything that they can and they're gonna try and swindle you as much as they can because that's their job um, and I don't Car dealerships are probably going to hate me for this. Um, please don't hate me. It's just the truth, you know. Um, if you are going to buy a new car, always come under what their asking price is. Ask, um, you know, how long it's been on the lot. That's always like, ooh, that's one that kind of makes their skin crawl a little bit, um, you know. And and always pay under what it's amount. And they're going to tell you no. They're going to say, I, I can't I can't do that. I'm going to go talk to my boss. And then he's going to come back and he's going to say no. And that's okay. Walk away. Just walk away from the dealership. If that's the car that you really want, just walk away. And chances are they might actually come back to you and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, we can come back with a lower price. Um, and what I want you to do is I want you to, like I said, Kelly Blue Book, and come under what the, the, the amount is and uh, keep coming under and every time he says no I can't do that just keep doing that just keep hitting him with the I, sorry I, you know this is this is all I can afford and, um, and and you know and you'll keep working and you'll keep hashing it out and you'll go back and forth and eventually you'll you'll work on a deal but make sure that when you're buying a new new car that you can check the car facts on the car make sure you know how well it was taken care of uh, if it's kind of like a newer used car, you know, you don't want somebody who just neglected to change their oil on the car. Um, if you are going to to get a car, pay in full. And if you if you're gonna just purchase the car outright, which I I recommend, if it's a brand new car, pay the car in full if you've got the cash to do so. Uh, and and a low ball the crap out of him just because you've got cash. He's gonna want to make that trade. And that's going to give you a huge advantage when you go to go make a purchase on your car and be like, listen, I can go and pay for this cash in cash. And he's going to, you know, his eyes are going to get wide. You know, he's going to be all excited because, you know, they're they're done. They, they get their money. They flip that in a second. They get their money and they move on. So that, that's a huge buying opportunity for you. Getting a cash, just buy the car outright. That's huge. And then you don't have anything that you own or owe. Uh, to the dealership or um, to the bank. So, but if you are going to get a, a loan for your car, a car loan, there's something that I really want you to think about. Do not probably get a uh, loan through the dealership. One, they're going to give you a, a, a much higher interest rate. 
Try going to a credit union. A credit union has usually a much cheaper, um, you know, uh, loan amount for your car, even over a bank. So a bank might have like 5% and a dealership might have 6%, but maybe if you have really good credit, you can go to like a credit union and get like a 3.2% uh, car loan, which is way better over the course of, of you know, a long period of time if you're paying on a car for you know five years or six years you're gonna you're gonna save yourself some serious amount of, of cash by um, by doing that uh, another one is um, never lease unless you work at a dealership <laughs> um, the reason being why you never want to lease a car is because you could be making payments towards the principal of a car and just owning it outright and then not having to make any more payments um, and I think the goal for somebody who is a first time car buyer is to, to pay off your car as quickly as possible so that you can start saving your money onto something else. Chances are, if you take good care of your cars, um, they'll last you a long time. You know, you can end up with 300,000 miles on a car and that could be like 20 or 30 years past when you bought a brand new car. And that's really good, you know, <laughs> 20 or 30 years. You know, you could have bought a lot of cars in between and you could have flipped them and got a new car or whatever or whatnot every few years. And cool, that's really good. But you really don't want to be like, you know, out money every time you go to go buy a car. What you could do is you can invest that money later and then collect on that investment that you decided to do and, uh, you know, just just pay off a car. You know, put five grand into um a uh, an index fund or whatever, and we'll, we'll talk about stock market and all that kind of stuff. Put five grand into a an index fund, and then you know, 15, 20 years, you know, pay for a brand new car, and that would be just your your you you paid five, <laughs> you took five grand, and then you know, turned it into twenty, and then boom, you know, you you, you make good money, um, and, and by by doing that, you know, you just bought a brand new car for a fraction of what you paid initially. Uh, pay off your car quickly. You know, you don't want to be stuck paying on your car for a long period of time because interest rate will absolutely eat you alive. Um, this this happens with a lot of people and for a lot of different things, not just cars, but for mortgages, for student loans. Um, paying off your debts quickly will be the number one thing of how to get ahead. Um, the debts, you're going to have to pay them um, unless you go bankrupt and uh and then you're gonna end up with a really bad credit so paying off your car quickly is a really good uh way to get ahead consider what car you're looking to buy um this is a big one value is a really important thing when you buy a car you want to make sure that if you take care of your car that it's not going to break down on you it needs to last a really long period of time it needs to have maybe like good gas mileages or maybe in the future when you're watching this video, uh, maybe a good battery distance uh, or a charge or whatever it may be or hydro, I don't even, hydrogen based, whatever it may be. Um, you need to make sure that the distance that the car can go is going to be a good value for your dollar because you know you're trying to be a, 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 a savvy guy. You're trying to save as much money as possible so that either you can invest it or buy the things that you really want to do with your with your money. So um, is the car going to last you a long time? You know, if you're going to buy a car outright, you want it to really last you a long time, especially if it's brand new. So reliability is huge. Engine reliability, you know, all the factors that go into play when it comes to buying a new car. How reliable is it? Is it going to break down on you? You don't want that happening. Um, and there's different kind of factors you can look for when you're going to go make a purchase of a car. And you can do some dollar cost averaging to figure out, you know, okay, well, you know, it's, it's a Honda Civic, you know, it's pretty good value. And that's that's the type of car, you know, you can do like if you look at like a Honda Civic and you look at the brand new Tesla three um, dollar over the course of like five years, I think uh, they're actually kind of equal, which is rather surprising coming from an EV or whatever kind of car. Um, and uh, that's really exciting to me. It really is. So with that being said, um, Thank you for watching the video. Uh, like if you like the video, dislike if you dislike the video, and subscribe if you really like the video. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you very much.